Well, today is a red letter date at Retro Blasting Studio. If you followed the channel for a few years now, you're probably aware that I'm a big fan of the uh, adventure genre, Indiana Jones, King Solomon's Mines, that kind of thing. So over the years, I've talked about my uh, enthusiasm for the Tomb Raider video game series as well. And what's odd about the Tomb Raider's franchise history in terms of merchandise is that despite Tomb Raider, the original game, being so immensely popular, there has never been a merchandise depiction of Lara Croft as she was uh, depicted in that original game. So even though they've done versions of Lara where, uh, you know, Lara has the, the, uh, the classic outfit on, it's not quite the way she looked in the original game. And I don't mean the graphics, I mean the way that overall the character was designed for gameplay. Uh, they had some graphic limitations back then, and so the character couldn't be um, depicted with the full ponytail and everything like that in game. But what happened, uh, for those of us who were playing the game, at least for me anyway, was that it just made more sense because uh, Lara ended up having her hair tied up in the back, you know, secured. And when you're doing a lot of climbing and dodging and shooting and running and acrobatics and swimming and all that kind of stuff, it was like, oh, well, yeah, this, this actually make, makes sense. This must be what they intended uh, for the game. And, and when you played through that game, which truly is the Raiders of the Lost Ark of video games. I mean, Tomb Raider 1, uh, it is to video games what Raiders of the Lost Ark is to the movies. Uh, you get sort of devoted to that depiction of the character because that's the best game experience uh, in the whole series. So then in the next game, uh, when, when she came out in Tomb Raider 2, and suddenly they had this very primitive polygonal braid thing hanging off the back of her head, uh, it, was, it was actually for me rather distracting um, in a bad way. And um, it was like, this, this doesn't look right. You know, why did they have to change that? They didn't really need it. It made more sense the other way. And I know I'm making a big deal out of a little thing, but that's how big a Tomb Raider fan I am. And they've never had an action figure or anything that depicted Lara in the original uh, gameplay configuration with her hair tied up in the back and everything like that. Um, and that's why, you know, for the longest time, I didn't own any... Lara Croft merchandise. It was like, well, until they make that, I don't really want anything. And, and over the years, you know, I tried to, you know, paint a, a, an action figure here, you know, the like an Angelina Jolie to sort of look like the classic Lara. And yeah, she had the braid and everything. It was always a compromise. Well, Gaming Heads finally came out with this statue series. I guess this is one of, I think, six that are going to be coming out. But this is the one that I was most blown over by. I mean, I was blown away by this because it's the original Lara, the real Lara. It's like saying, you know, the Temple of Doom hat that Harrison Ford wears is not quite the Raiders of the Lost Ark hat. Um, this is the Raiders of the Lost Ark Lara Croft. Uh, and gaming heads have done a great job, you know, capturing the spirit of that original game, that original character. Um, it's a statue, of course, it's not an action figure, but you know, it, it's so iconic. They've even modeled her after the original uh, box cover. This is the uh, PC uh, game box that I've had since 1996. I mean, that's how much of a fan of this, of this property I am. Um, but if you, if you look on the back of this, this statue, and I'll turn it around here and show you in close up, they, they didn't compromise. They, they gave her the the braid on the back uh, as it looks in gameplay in Tomb Raider 1. And I know I seem like I'm making a really big deal out of this, and I am, but it's because Tomb Raider is now 23 years old, and this is the first time that that massively successful game has been honored exactly in merchandise, which is kind of crazy if you think about it. Um, you know, we've gotten a lot of 8-bit tribute collectibles for Mario and Link from Zelda. Uh, we, we've gotten a lot of video game merchandise lately that honors hell. Even Pac-Man has been honored um, in merchandise. But the original, actual Lara Croft from the first Tomb Raider is only just now getting a piece of merchandise, which is commemorative uh, for the larger 
uh, you know, 20th anniversary, I guess it's coming a little late, but it's the 20th anniversary of, of Tomb Raider. So this is, this is cool. This is going to go up in my display cases upstairs next to my Indiana Jones, uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark fedora, um, and, uh, all that other stuff that I've done videos about in the past. But I just wanted to share this real quick. This is a big thrill, uh, for me because I'm a huge fan of, of the original Tomb Raider. I'm a fan of the whole series, but, uh, uh, with a few chapters here and there that don't uh, really add up. I'll go into that in a future video that I'm working on. But um, this is a red letter date for Lara. Um, so I just wanted to have a little moment here. So thanks for watching this, guys, and uh, we'll see you on the next video. Well, you have my total attention now. I'm not quite sure if I've got yours, though. Hello? <laughs>